And we have not lifted a load for you. Like the disciples, we have left you alone in the most trying moment of your life. For those of us on many Father, who we don't even know what to do because the pressure is so taken over our lives. The bills are high, the funds are low, the needs are great, and almost every day we get a blow. There's so many individuals right now, eternal Father. Who have put their spiritual experience with you on a pause, waiting for the return of normalcy, looking forward to the end of the pandemic? Your very church, Almighty Father, that you have called to be a missionary center, that you have called to be a light. Your church has been found sleeping, your church has been found wanting in this great moment when many individuals are looking for hope, looking for truth, looking for balance, looking for comfort, looking for strength. There's so many mothers who have gone to crack great hearts this graves because a son has not entered the praying room for her. There are so many children that have gone astray because parents have not used this moment of great trial to just build a a fire inside of the cold hearts of men that they may see that you're still alive. There's so many of us, Almighty Father, who have given up hope, who have turned away from your church. Those of us who have said that we will never return. Right now, Almighty God, we're praying for them. We're praying for each and every one. Because when we slack at our post of duty, when we are uncommitted, when we are wavering, when it is that we are uncommitted, when it is that we are unfaithful, when it is that we are spasmodic, when it is that our experience with you come and goes, it affects the ministry, it affects the souls of men, it allows individuals growth to stagger. Almighty Father, in this great moment of earth's history, we are testing men and women. Help us not to be found as lappers. Help us not to be found as kneelers, but help us to be like those men in Gideon's army, the 300, who understand the urgency of the moment and the importance of the task. That now is not the time. We must replenish ourselves. We must be proper balance to our health. But no, it's not the time to let go of your mighty hand. No, it's not the time to give up on your church. No, it's not the time to walk away from you, Lord. Somebody needs this message today. Somebody needs to know that in the midst of a pandemic, we have purpose. That in the midst of COVID-19, you have given to us a mission to carry out. Some of us have gotten cold, and there are others who are becoming cold because of us. So Lord, forgive us for where we are here, but we are committed today to start the walk afresh. Let your noble lands be burned. Let the gleams across the way, some poor fainting struggling seamen. Lord, we may rescue, we may save. Someone is out there today who need to be rescued. Someone stands in need of your mighty powerful hand. In the midst of this pandemic, give us the courage, give us the boldness, give us the perseverance to work with you, to partner with you for the salvation of men. This is our prayer. This is our asking. In Jesus' name.